Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into Spirit for my special guest, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Laura. I, tonight. I'm great. Thank you for asking. And where are you calling from? State of Ohio. Thanks for tuning in. And as I connect for you, I want to go to your right side, which is paternal side, which I'm assuming is your predominant hand, correct? Yes. Okay. Sure is. And I know the mass majority are right hand, but I'm assuming this is your father figure that I'm seeing. He's got minimal hair up on top, very thin in nature. Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. And he wore glasses as well. He did, yeah. Yeah, but no longer needs them, by the way. Just wants to say that. This is relatively new. This has just happened. Like, I get the sense his body's not even in the ground yet. You know, it did just happen recently, within two weeks, and he got cremated, actually. All right. And that's in company of the family right now. Your mom. Your mom is still here, I'm understanding. Yes, she is. Yes. And he shows me an image of you embracing. I'm assuming this is your mother and you two women embracing and weeping because I feel like this just happened over him. Does this make sense? Yes, but it was probably more my niece. My mother hasn't really spoken to any of us in a few years, but that's okay. It's, okay. It was, my sister. it was your sister. All right. So it was your sister or your niece because I'm seeing two women and they're both crying, holding on to one another. I yeah. feel like this is connected to yeah, him. It was all for him. Okay. There was long-term care before he crossed over because that's my understanding. Like he was, I feel like in a bad state before he crossed over, almost needing care. He was. He was in the hospital for like four months. Miserable. We thought he was going to the hospital after therapy to get better and he died suddenly. His heart stopped. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I know. But you were there. I know. It was very unexpected. We expected him to get better. I'm you sorry, what were you Right. Say? And you were there, though. You came to visit him. Yeah. Oh, yes. He says he was this. On a, he was on a two. Yes, and he says he wants you to know he knew you were there, and he's so grateful for the support around him, and I feel like you've kind of stepped up to the plate and helping taking care of some of the arrangements. Is that right? I did. Yeah, and he thanks you for that and wants you to know how appreciative he is, because I get the sense other people are just too disposed or grieving that they can't handle it like you can. Does that make sense, Sharon? Um, I think my two little nieces were so young. They were so close to him. I think it's harder for them. Okay. I didn't expect it. It was absolutely tragic. But yes, I know what you're saying. They're not spiritual like me. I know that he's around me. I know it's weird, but you know what I mean. Yes. But oh, it was hard for all of us. Does he have any messages for him? He loves them very much. And I think he's left them something to take care of them some financial means, if that makes sense. Okay, yes. And he wants them to know he did that deliberately. Okay? There's a conscious decision on his part to do that because he loves them very much. Yes. Yeah. To him, almost daughters. That's how close they were. Yes, absolutely. They spent a lot of time with him in his care. They did. Yeah, almost like a father to them. Yep, especially when they were younger. Yes. Yeah. Was one of them a cheerleader or, uh, because I see this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's just, again, confirmation to the message. Now, I understand somebody's staying with somebody or not being alone and wanting to be in your company more or longer. Do you understand what he's saying here? Is it one of the girls or somebody else in the family that has asked you or requested you stay longer or stay around longer or be in their company? Does this make sense? It does, but actually it is my nieces, of course, but I've been speaking to his sister a lot since he's passed and she wants to keep in touch with me. That's so funny that you pick up on that. I haven't spoken to her in a very long time and we just talked like for an hour. It was his older sister. She was a nurse. It was just so nice speaking with her. She's in her 80s. But yes. she's very healthy. She walks, you know, she's yes. healthy for her age. Right. But I bet that's what he's doing. Okay. Because my understanding, you might be the closest thing she has to him. 
right now. So that could be. Yeah. Yes. I just feel that you need to stay in her company. Okay. I will. It was a pleasure spending time with you. Thank you, Laura. And if you'd like to be my special guest and receive a reading like Sharon, sign up at Radio Medium Larley.com. And while you're over there, thank you for subscribing, sharing, and following the show. It is free. <laughs> 